Welcome to The Power Of. Today I am talking about the power of fear. Oh, this has been probably the biggest growth factor in my life since I started Whole Body Nutrition. You know, as far back as I can remember, I was afraid. Afraid of what other people thought of me. I mean, that has always been a big fear for me. So to start a health coaching business, putting my own story out there was not easy. Uh, for example, to put my picture on the Whole Body Nutrition website, um, you know, people want to see the picture of who they are going to be talking to regularly, the person that's coming alongside of them and, and walking through this journey with them and, and you know, going to stick by them to, to help them to achieve their, the body that they want. They want to know who it is that they're talking to. They want to they want to see the face of that person. So it would be detrimental for me not to put my picture on my website. But that was so scary. I was so afraid to do that, honestly, just because of what people would say. Another big one for me was I remember so clearly that I knew I needed to I mean, get my business out there, get it more advertised. And so um, I knew I needed to put it on the local buy, sell and trade site. Uh, but that meant that my picture would be on there for everyone to see. And I knew lots of people would see it. And um, so I sat there in front of my computer with the post ready to go for I, I don't even know how long a long time and my heart was racing and I'm sure my blood pressure was was high and I was just so nervous to do that because I knew that so many people would see it and I was afraid of what people would say or what people would think so finally I just hit the button as fast as I could and then it was done it was gone I it was done and uh, I was just like oh whew, finally that's done um, and you know what that had a, a very positive impact on my business doing that uh, not only uh, on my business but on myself as well because it made me realize I can do something even when I'm scared one of my friends and longtime class fitness coach once said to me Elsa what other people think of you is none of your business <laughs> and you know what that helped me it helps me often because um, I need to not worry so much about what other people think and not be afraid of that and to just press in and to do what I know that I need to do and really in both of those situations and in many other situations where I've been worried or uh, to do something or afraid to do something I've had to just make up my mind then I'm gonna do it and not let feelings have a vote and just go for it. One of the very best ways to overcome your fear is to ask yourself, what am I afraid of? What is it that I'm really afraid of? Is this rational or is this rational? Is this fear worth me not achieving the goals that I desire? Is it worth letting it stop me from getting to where I want to be in my life and from accomplishing all that I was put on this earth to do? I'm not talking about the type of overwhelming anxiety that some people struggle with. You know, if you have that debilitating type of fear that is wreaking havoc on your life, then, you know, you may need a health coach, um, a practitioner, someone to come alongside you and walk you through that and help you to get out of that. You know, that's very serious. That's not the type of fear that I'm talking about today. The type of fear that I'm talking about are the little things that pop up in our heads that we let them stop us from moving forward towards our goal. Most of the time, we don't even recognize that it's fear holding us back. Little things that pop up into our minds like, oh, I I'm, couldn't do that, uh, or I'm not strong enough for that, or, or I, what will people think if I do that, or what will people say about me if I do that, and on and on and on. And I want to say, never be judgmental of other people's fears. Just because they're different of the fears that you have, doesn't mean that it's not very real to them. Fear is fear. And each one of us, whatever fear it is that we are struggling with, it's very real. And you've probably heard the quote, courage is not the absence of fear, but being afraid and doing it anyways. And I love this example of two different acronyms of fear. Forget everything and run, or face everything and rise. We always have that choice. We can always choose what it is that we're going to do with the fear that we face. 
the answer to fear is always to face it. I have a friend that has a great story of overcoming fear that she shared with me, and it came to my mind as I was working on this podcast. This friend of mine, her grandma had passed away, and her grandma's faith was very important to her, and it was very important to her grandma that those that she loved, that that they had Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior, and, and she always talked about that, and it was very it was a big thing in her life and, and she always wanted to share it with other people so that they would have the opportunity as well. And so my friend was uh, going to share at the funeral and uh, talk about this and they had a, a really neat little illustration that they, she had a really neat little illustration that she was going to do and she was talking to her grandpa about it but she was super scared to do this and she was so scared to do it because of how this would be received by the people that were going to be there you know some family members that didn't agree with this or or other people that would be there that you know might think that was foolish or you know just how it would be received by the other people and so she was really scared to do it and and very nervous and so she went to her grandpa and she talked to him about it and it gets me a little teary teary eyed here this one um, and you know what her grandpa said to her because she said to him but Grandpa, I'm really scared to do this. And he said to her, then do it scared. What good advice. You know what, when we come up against things in our lives that we're scared to do, something that's holding us back, do it anyways. Do it scared. Yeah, you might be scared, but do it anyways. And I can just imagine how proud and, uh, her grandma is of her and how excited when they have that reunion in heaven, what her grandma will have to say. You know, we can let fear hold us back. She could have let fear hold her back from doing something that she knew that her grandma would want her to do. But instead, she took her grandpa's advice and pressed on and did it anyways. She did it scared. You know, the most effective way to get past your fear is to take action because we can sit around and think about something for years and never actually get anything done because we're too scared, we're too afraid what other people might think, we're too afraid that we can't do it or we're not good enough or we're not strong enough. The best way to overcome fear is just by taking action. I want to encourage you, have faith that you were placed on this earth for a plan and a purpose that only you can fulfill. And that is going to require you to step out and do things that are uncomfortable and that you are afraid to do. But as my friend's grandpa said, do it scared. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.